We're making bacon today with a little bit of brown sugar. <sighs> Let's start with the brown sugar mixture to put on the bacon. In a bowl, add a quarter cup of brown sugar, and then for some spice, add as much cayenne pepper as you can handle, and then season with freshly cracked pepper, and then grab a fork and mix everything up and break up any brown sugar clumps, and then just set aside. I'm making two sandwiches today and going to use eight strips of bacon. I love my bacon. Mm. <laughs> bacon. Now you can use a turkey, beef, or a plant-based bacon if you don't want to use pork. Grab a sheet pan and cover with foil and then place a wire rack over top. Place the bacon strips down and then with the brown sugar mixture, sprinkle on top of the bacon strips and then press and pack it into each strip. You can do both sides and use more sugar and of course it'll be much sweeter and that's great for a snack on its own. But for this sandwich, I don't want it to be too sweet. So I got this idea for the sandwich from Arby's. Yes, Arby's, say what you want, but I love Arby's. It is my number one fast food chain and I know it's always the butt of jokes. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. Oh my gosh. But I don't care, I will defend it until the day I die. And you know what? Some people like it. So where do you want to eat? Feels like an Arby's night. <laughs> so Arby's had a whole brown sugar bacon campaign and well, come on bacon. So once the bacon is done, place it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven and depending on your desired doneness of the bacon. While the bacon cooks, let's make the Dijonnais in a bowl. Add two tablespoons of mayonnaise and two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and then mix it all up. I do a one-to-one -one ratio, but feel free to play around depending on your taste. Once done, set aside. On to the cheese for this sandwich. I had some help with this from a friend, Afrin Pristine, from his family's cheese shop, Cheese Boutique, here in Toronto. Hi everybody, hi Mark's followers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so bacon and sugar. Brown sugar brown. bacon with a fried egg, brioche uh, bun. I love it. For, first off, it's brilliant. I love it. Uh, you know, there's a cheese, it's Munster. But not like a French, like, pungent dirty sock munster which is like classic and still amazing but there's like a it's just like an american style munster almost like american cheese kind of flavor but like more and melts beautifully mark it would be lovely with your sandwich what are some of the flavor notes is it like nutty nutty yeah oh, okay. super so nutty it's, it's very yeah, fruity okay. like it's not a very pungent powerful cheese It'll just like melt beautifully and hug the bacon and it's not salty so the bacon can add the salt and it'll be amazing. Okay, good, awesome. In a pan on medium heat, add one tablespoon of unsalted butter and toast up your brioche buns. I always like a light toasting and still want some squish to my buns. Then you can wipe the pan clean or in another pan, add a half a tablespoon of unsalted butter, crack an egg in and fry it up. Season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. I like my eggs over easy, so that's what I'm doing and I want some runny yolk with this sandwich. Now that the bacon is done, we're just gonna let it rest just a bit so the brown sugar can set a bit and it's not too runny, and the bacon will also crisp up a bit as well. And now we can build the sandwich. I cut up the bacon just so that it can fit on the bottom half of the bun, and then we're gonna add one or two slices of the Munster cheese. You can use a mild Gouda if you can't find the Munster, and place it under the broiler so it can melt and be that much tastier. Then place your egg on top, Add a dollop of the Dijonnais on the top half bun, and you know what to do, bring it to the table. It's messy, but it's delicious. It's just another take on the classic bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. You get that salty, you get the sweet, you get the tang from that Dijon. What more can you ask for? So I hope you give this a go, and as always, the full recipe is in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and until next time, Ciao.